are maneuvering through a world that worships youth and shames the beautiful process of aging. Today, we are welcoming evolutionary coach Karen Fritz to the show. And the topic today is On the Path to Van Life, Three Tips to Working from Anywhere. If you're here live, we are delighted that you're here live. Make sure you make a comment down below and say, I'm here live, and we will make sure to go back and comment right under your comment. If you're here on replay, just as wonderful, go ahead and say that you're here on replay, and I will respond to you as well. And of course, share, 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 share. We love it when you share the show. So today, we have a, 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 an amazing woman. We've, we've known each other for a little while. Her name is Karen Fritz. She graduated a corporate management decades ago to run her own businesses. Um, she's averaged 10,000 miles a year on her motorcycle after learning to ride at 50. Imagine that. I'm scared of motorcycles, so we'll talk about that. Uses the Enneagram and Integral Coaching to guide clients in designing a business model that fits both financially and for fulfillment. And she invented this really cool game called PATH that instills business ecosystem concepts into an intuitive intuitive tool and today she adds the super boomer lifestyle to her resume and so without further ado i welcome karen fritz to the show hi there hi karen thanks so much for having me well i am really delighted that you're on the show and as we said the show is about van life we're going to talk a little bit about that because you're no longer in your van and we'll we'll tell we'll tell you why viewers but uh, before we do that, I like to start the show with the question, how do you describe a super boomer? Now, I describe super boomers actually by what they're not. They are not defined by their age. They are defined by how they show up in life, uh, fearless with a just watch me attitude. That would totally <laughs> me. So, Karen Fritz, how do you describe? I feel like it's really the ability to lean into the the knowledge and the experience that i've gained right i see it as having gained so much that now i can share it back i don't have to be intimidated by a culture that really worships youth or whatever i bring something that literally has never been experienced on the planet before quite like this and i want to bring it i love i love that bring it i i totally love that uh, because you are you are bringing it. If you're just tuning in right now, we've got Karen Fritz on, and we are talking about van life and tips on how to work anywhere. And I want to start out by saying that originally this this show was titled "Tips to to do while you're on the road." Um, now we would be remiss not to say that we are in a, in a time frame right now, a world that is nothing like any of us have ever experienced, I don't think. Um, and so you had to come back home because you could no longer be in your van. But let's talk about van life first. What does that mean, van life? Basically, it means the ability to live from a van. And last summer, I got a 2002 Ford Econoline. It's just a van. It's not a fancy sprinter. It's nothing fancy. And because I had no prior skill, I went in and I pulled out the seats and I pulled out the side stuff wow. and used the tools, the power tools, and put down a floor and it has a bed and a desk. Uh, first of all, I, I give you a lot of credit. I, you know, I think I, I, I do what a lot of people do and I say that men do that women don't right men uh, take their tools out and, and and clearly that's not true and that is a stereotype that really should not be out there and it's part of the whole super boomer thing i mean you have your tools you did this i kind of wish i'd ask you to bring a picture on so that i could show this picture uh, of you in the van but as we said you're not in the van right now you are back home but that doesn't mean that we can't talk about this because we can right. talk about working from anywhere and that is very appropriate for this time that we're in so you talk about being productive on purpose what does that mean Right. It's one thing to be productive and, and have all your systems set up and know how to get your stuff done. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing a whole bunch mm -hmm. of stuff that doesn't light you up, it's not going to be fulfilling. There's, there's no amount of achievement that will make up 
for having that fulfillment within yourself. And I'm speaking from experience there. Um, so <laughs> it's the on purpose part that really. Well, you have a key. word that you, I don't know if you made it up, but I think you did. And it's purpose right? right. And that just kind of frames almost everything that you do. Let's talk about that. What does that mean exactly? Purposivity actually is the name of my second book. Huh? And it's Purposivity is the feminine face of productivity. Oh, okay. Because it really is about finding out what really matters mm -hmm. and then putting your time and your attention toward what really matters for you. I mean, the assumption is that you're here, you're unique, and in that, the things that matter to you are divinely intentional. So go there. I love that. I love that. So in line with that, you have this, um, this game that you came up with, um, I, I, I don't even like calling it a game because it's almost like life. <laughs> it's a life thing. Um, and it's called path. So I know that you have it with you to, sh to pick I, up. So I'm going to have you do that right the now. There's, there's the camera. There's the box. There's the box. So, and what, is what, I've, what I've done in this game is I've mapped different areas of business success mm -hmm. onto the ecosystem mm -hmm. because a lot of the folks that I work with in my business right. are great at their thing, right. but they don't know anything about business right? and half the time they don't want to. But when you can take and say, oh, here's an image that's about mountains. Mm -hmm. That's about your big picture. It's time to climb a new mountain. Got it. Pictures about forests. Oh, that's about the forest and the trees. Go get your right. stuff done for today. <laughs> and then the river is all about the flow of your own essence in your business. And these are all pictures from my motorcycle travels. So is that how this developed when you were out on the road? I mean, how, how did this come to be? I had already been doing this integrative coaching mm -hmm. around your strategy, your systems, and yourself, because mm -hmm. all three of those have to work or either your business isn't going to make money or you're going to burn out. And we don't want people burning out. No, we do not. So I'd been doing that. And then I got this idea to invent a game so that people could learn about the business side of things. And in inventing the game, I went back to all my pictures from my motorcycle blogging and my first book, The Art of Adventure, so that I could use those to express visually what most people don't get when they're, if they're not word oriented people, the pictures work. The pictures work. And, and some people are visual that way. Some people are operate by words. I happen to be a word girl, um, but, but certainly I, I understand the whole idea of the, the visual. I put a, a link up on, on the, um, the show right now, karenjoyfritz.com forward slash path. And if they go there, what are they going to find? You'll find a description of the game. And if you're interested in ordering yourself a copy or just talking with me about it, perhaps playing online like this, we can sure do that. So I know that you're actually doing house parties. I am. See, now that's part of making my business mm -hmm. portable so I can do it from the road. Exactly. So that leads us right into some tips about how to work anywhere. Now, clearly, I'm an online girl. I, I can work from anywhere, and I do. And I have my, as long as I have my trusty webcam and my, <laughs> my laptop, or even my phone for that matter, I can work from anywhere. But let's give some tips out to our, our viewing audience on how can you work from anywhere? We're not suggesting you get in a van. Where that's not what this is about, right? It's not about getting in a van. You can if you want to, but right. maybe you want to be in a motorhome. Maybe you just want to go take a, a trip around the world. And again, maybe not right now, but right. <laughs> how can you work? Give us some tips. Right. You know, even if you want to go to a town and go to an Airbnb, mm -hmm. right? First tip I would say is try to stay in each place for at least a month, right? If you're really, really like moving through stuff at least a week, but you can, in advance, you can go on Meetup and find out where your people are hanging out in that area. Go meet the people. Mm -hmm. And then you have a 
little bit of time to actually create connections uh -huh. and have the coffee dates and so on, so that you're actually building a loop. And next year, right? I was down in Texas this year. Mm -hmm. Next year, I'll be able to go back and have that basis right. that I can expand from. You have a bigger backyard now, right? Right. You're yes. In a bigger backyard, and I love that. All right. What's tip number two? Tip number two is as you build out your digital support system, right? You, you can't be hauling paper around. The Sorry. paper day planner, the client files, all the things, you have to have those digital, but make sure you're using tools that fit your personality style. Again, it's not an accident that you need to overcome. Right. If you're a visual person, use visual digital tools. Those apps are out there. They if are. You're, yeah. If you're a people person, there are apps organized around your contacts and who you love. So make sure you make it fit. So you're telling us to, to go on our phone, our mobile mobile device or something, even your computer for that, your laptop, and Google um, some, a tool. And it, it's pretty simple that you you know start Googling and see, find something that works for you, whether it's a right. A, right. Canva is a visual app and you can do it right on your phone. You can make beautiful memes and beautiful photographs and you can share them out. You can do videos now on Canva. Did you right. know that? Yeah. So, very cool. Um, so that's a great tip. Don't haul paper around. I love that. <laughs> the next tip. Okay. This one applies to both your digital things and your stuff stuff. The key is always put things where you'll be able to find them. <laughs> right it's it's self-care for your future self i love that. i i hate that feeling of oh my god where did i put that or digging through is it in this box is it in that box even in my van i had a few boxes that slid under my bed right this one is my kitchen box this is my cold clothes this is my hot clothes this is and knowing that when I took something off or when I was done with something, it went back into the box where I'd be able to find it again. First of all, it kept the clutter down and in a really small space that matters. But it also kept my stress level down because I never had that. Ah, oh, where is it? Did I leave it at some rest stop? Uh, and that this is this is for anybody, quite frankly. Yes. Always put things where you can find them. And I'm I'm a you know, I've moved several times in the last several years and I purged. I purged everything so that now I know where things are because I don't have a lot of things anymore. So this is a really great tip, whether you're doing the van life, whether you are working from anywhere or just working from your house, right? Um, always put things where you can find them. Great tip. Great tip. Yeah. Anything else in terms of working and, and living? in a I, you know i have another one that i really it was like i can only give her three no i got i could no, just have to put this one in <laughs> right so here's the other one is all the maintenance level stuff mm -hmm. should do itself um, so all of my bills are on auto pay all of my deposits are auto deposited like that's maintenance level stuff i cannot have to be home to go get the mail right. or to go to the bank, right? Right. So all that stuff happens. I never have to worry like, oh my gosh, did I forget to pay the the, the Comcast bill oh, or whatever? Important. It's done. It takes care of itself. My email files itself. I love it. So you have folders that automate, you have yeah. folders and filters, yeah. like the maintenance level stuff does itself. Anything I can automate, I do, and then I look at delegate. But first, make the computer do the work. So did you know that the US Postal Service has a platform now that you can get an email every single day telling you what email has arrived and what packages have arrived? I didn't know that until I just made this move and I accidentally signed up for it. I didn't even know I signed up for it. I signed up for everything. And all of a sudden I started getting these emails every single day telling me that this is what's coming and if you don't get it, let us know. So that's that that's right in alignment with that. These are amazing tips. It makes me kind of you know want to get out there when I when we can um, yeah. and do some of this stuff. This is this is great. Um, 
Why do you do this? What's your why? You know, part of it is my creative impulse mm -hmm. comes from diverse and novel input. So mm -hmm. travel to me gives me the food to be able to give back. Right, it, it fills me up with different things that I can connect and then be able to share with other people, like making a game out of pictures of rivers. Right? Who would have How many people? <laughs> right? People have looked at those rivers forever. Right. Bazillions of people have looked at the same thing. But what I see is sometimes different. Yes. Perspective. Right. Right. So for me, it's always been for whatever um, journey mm -hmm. I've been on, whether it's been a physical journey or an inner journey or a spiritual journey, it always comes back to how do I apply it? Mm -hmm. How then shall we live? Even that. if I have you know, this inner calm or I've done this work or cleaned up this part, nice, but how then shall we live? Right. What do I bring back to my larger community because that transformation has taken place. And again, goes back to living life on purpose. Yes. Which, yeah. which is exactly what we've been talking about. Do you have a superpower? I do. My superpower is the ability to see patterns in chaos. Interesting. Right? Yeah. It just happens to be how this brain works. I can look at anything from the clouds and see pictures in the clouds mm -hmm. to look at the way somebody's belief system is wired and go, oh, they think they're in chaos. <laughs> but look, here's the pattern. And if we take that pattern and we pull this string, the pattern lets go so that something more authentic can emerge. Everyone needs a Karen Fritz in <laughs> pocket. That, that can help you live on purpose and 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 put things in focus. I, I just love everything that you're talking about. If you if you want to follow Karen, which you should follow Karen, you can check out her Facebook page at facebook.com or fb.com forward slash purposivity. I just love that word. <laughs> you can also, we had this up earlier, but you can check out um, her website and path. It's karenjoyfritz.com forward slash path. And I know that you have something that you're giving away as well. And that is, uh, if they go to karenjoyfritz.com forward slash burnout, what are they going to get? What I've done is to look at what happens to people when they're not getting that fulfillment piece. Mm. They burn out, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes it's because they were on the wrong direction to begin with. Sometimes it was because they're here. They imagined a business, they built the business, but in the building they grew and now they're bigger. Yeah. And they need to dream again. Yeah. So I put together this comic book. I had a blast it. <laughs> building it out. Right. But it's a comic book that looks at how this burnout happens and nine different ways using Enneagram types to find your portal into how do I reinvent? What, what is it that helps me to see my pattern so that I can go to my next best self? I love that. I just, I am just so delighted that you were on today. It was a perfect show uh, and a perfect topic uh, for today. Any last minute things that we have not addressed that we really should so that we don't leave people hanging? Here's my thought. There's only one of you. Mm -hmm. There's only one in all, all of the humans and all of the designs and all of the histories. There's only one combination of who you are and what you've experienced. And until that is honored and brought forward, mm -hmm. really hard to be on purpose. And it's really hard to be fulfilled. Oh, thank you. Please do you do you just do you nobody else is is as good as you are. Their good is their good. Just right. do you. 
Thank you, Karen. I just think that's profound. And I really appreciate you taking time to be with us today to share your tips, of which we got bonus tips, guys. That was awesome. Um, and, and I hope that you do go and check Karen out because this game that she's doing, you can actually have her when things are calm down a little bit, you can actually have her come and do the game with, with your with your group or your team, which I would be amazing to do this with a team to get everyone on the same path. Um, no pun intended. Actually, it was very much oh, puns. <laughs> very much intended. I, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to join us today. Try not to go stir crazy um, at home. And I'm going to drop you into the green room as we finish up the show. Don't go away, though. All right? All right. Um, we now, this is the, the time that we have the super boomer moment. And this is when we talk about those, the, the thing that, that struck me as um, something that I want to remember from the show, and it has to do with living life on purpose. I, I think that when we forget that, we stray, we wander, we don't have a goal, we don't have a direction, we don't know what we're doing. And when you have your purpose and you're living your life on purpose, um, and, and as I have gotten older and as, as I, my purpose has changed, clearly my purpose has changed, but I do live my life on purpose um, because why bother? if you're not going to do that. And so I want to thank Karen for sharing that moment with us. Um, and also, if you're going to be on the road and you're going to be doing this out there, I'm going to encourage you to go out and get a, a webcam, for God's sake, because in order to do some of this stuff and on your laptop and things, you need to have a way to have a, a, a decent picture. This is the webcam that I use, a Logitech HD. You can find it on the superboomerlifestyle.com or you can find it anywhere. Um, but Get yourself a webcam or use your cell phone if you want. That's good, too. Um, we would love for you to, to follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram at Karen Glasser. And you can follow us on Twitter. Yes, at Karen Glasser. Imagine that. That's very um, tricky. And if you want to check out all the rest of the shows from the Super Boomer Lifestyle, go to KarenGlasser.live and all of the shows live there forever and ever and ever. You'll be able to watch Karen's show again and all of the past shows as well. I hope that you will do that. I want to thank you because I know that you have a choice as to how you spend your time. And I want to thank you because you chose it to spend it with Karen myself. Thank you for that. Go out and give somebody an awesome day. And we'll see you next week on the next episode of the Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. Goodbye, everyone.